after creating our floor level, which is seen here in the level tab, which we named main, we are now can go to our XREF panel and insert our DWG file, which we'll have as the first floor. We'll open. And after a few moments, another window will open so we can insert our insertion points, which will be X value of 100 and our Y value as 100. We'll select OK. And as you can see, the DWG XREF has been inserted. If we would like, we can go to our units of measure and select Imperial units and come down to scale. As you can see, our units of measure are in inches, but if you like, we have other options to choose from either in metric or in Imperial units, such as miles, yards, etc. But we'll choose inches for now. And with our accuracy, we'll go to the nearest hundredth, but as you can see, we, we have a wide variety to choose from. And finally, we have our rounding, which will round to the nearest zero, but you have the option of rounding all the way up to the nearest hundred. We'll click Apply, OK. And now we'll scale our drawing so we can zoom into a known dimension. Here's two feet or 24 inches. We'll select the first point our second point, and we'll type in 24 inches, confirm it, and now we have our drawing fit to scale. And if we like, we can go ahead and turn off our dimensions, so we'll turn them off. And now we have our DWG inserted as an XREF as well as being scaled.